Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for quite a while now, and that is reviewing Pop! OS, or rather, taking a look at Pop! OS. Um, the Pop! OS Linux distribution is, uh, let's go ahead and close out my Linus Tech Tips right now, um, but uh, <laughs> the uh, Pop! OS Linux distribution is based off of the Ubuntu Linux distribution, and heck, why not? Let's go ahead and open up a page on pop os so here we are on firefox on the pop os linux distribution its website it is developed by system 76 does that ring a bell that is the creators um, of the system i mean obviously the same uh, company that designed the system 76 laptops that are very good for linux they're specifically designed for linux um, but yeah, why not? Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, I have a virtual machine of Pop! OS right here. I'm going to make sure we full screen this so everything will be as seamless as possible. But we'll go ahead and boot up our operating system here in the virtual box and log into my account. I will note that by default, the uh, theming, the appearance, on Pop! OS is dark, however, I have clearly modified it to the light theming. I apologize for you guys that don't like light, but I like light, so there we go. Here we are in the Pop! OS desktop. Now this is actually a GNOME uh, desktop environment, GNOME-based Linux distribution, um, Ubuntu-based Linux distribution, I should say, on the GNOME desktop environment. We have our lovely little dock at the bottom here. We have another little panel at the top here where we have our workspaces, where you can hop between different workspaces, your applications here, where you can search through your applications. Let's close the workspaces. We got our calendar as well as our upcoming events. You know, your, your date right there. You can modify your events, add some events. Here's your calendar app here, which we'll probably take a look at a little bit later. It's currently 4.28 p.m. where I live. <laughs> um, here we have some Windows settings here. And here we have, you know, our network settings, battery settings, you know, indicating that we're uh, systems charging. A little settings icon, lock and log out and power off, as well as your volume. And if, had this not been a virtual box here, I would assume you would have brightness control. But let's go ahead and view some of these uh, applications at the bottom on the panel, the dock, whatever you want to call it. So you have Show Launcher. This where you can. This is where you can summon some applications. So why not? We'll search Firefox, and here we have a wonderful, actually very user-friendly search for all of our files. Anything that pertains to the word Fire, which I guess files and firmware somehow. Pertained up. All right. Um, yeah, here we have our show workspace buttons, just like at the top here on that panel, which I actually like very much. We have show applications, which is very similar to your show launcher, only I guess it's more visual here. So you got your library home, which I assume is that going to, I guess that's just right here. Office system utilities and create folder. I guess this will take us to, yep, our office applications, systems. So this is just sorted in very nice little, little folders there. Utilities, you got all your programs here. Uh, what kind of, so we have a USB flashing application in the utilities. We have an image viewer in the utilities, a video viewer, document scanner. There's just a couple of our applications. In Office, you have your LibreOffice package. Very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, here you can create a folder, I guess, to uh, add it at the dock. So, well, let's just uh, name a folder YouTube for maybe some, some of your YouTube videos. And there we have it. And you can uh, put whatever programs and applications and software, whatever the heck, in your YouTube folder. <laughs> and I assume, yeah, you just delete it at the top here. Click that little trash can icon and delete so this being an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution, I assume we should just be able to type sudo apt, just for example, update. 
and we are yep we are off to updating the repositories so everything is updated there now in regards to theming I was looking around a little bit and didn't find too many options um, obviously I changed it from dark to light why not we'll take a look at the dark right here you can see the dark does look very nice but I'm more pleased with the way that the light looks the theming by default is very nice but I would probably change it to my signature Numix, at least the icon theming that is. So in regards to theming, why not? Let's install sudo app install. Uh, what do I use? Gnome tweaks. Go ahead and let that install. And yep, tweaks is right there. So we should be able to modify those later. Go away, doc, please. Um, why not? Let's go and check out the settings. So we were in the appearance settings right there, but this is what settings will look like by default. You know, you have your little side panel here, which has your network and Bluetooth settings, desktop notifications, applications, privacy, online account sharing, sound, power, displays, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, printers, removable media, color, firmware, region, language, accessibility, users, Default applications, date and time, OS support, and about, which about should show us some wonderful system specifications, which it indeed does. You can see how much RAM I've allocated to this virtual machine, which is four gigabytes. Yeah, you can add a printer there. So very nice, lots of options. I mean, in terms of settings, which <laughs> is to be expected, you should. Uh, it, you know, especially in regards to it being a Linux distribution, you want to have a lot of um, options. So, yeah, that is the uh, that's the quick look at uh, all those uh, theming, the settings there. I don't think we need to take a big look at the um, at e each individual setting here. You guys get the idea. We have a nice little search bar at the top, so I mean, let's, why not, resolution, yep, there we go. Takes you right to your screen resolution settings where you can modify those as well as your refresh rate, orientation, and other things. Alrighty, let's, uh, I don't know, network. Yep, you have network settings right there. Takes you right to your Wi-Fi and Ethernet settings. All right, that's enough looking at these settings. I was quite interested in taking a look at this uh, this calendar page, which is, uh, I mean, pretty pretty standard throughout all GNOME desktop environments. Uh, any distribution that consists of the GNOME desktop environment, they typically have a very nice calendar and you know like events page, which is very nice. So you can click on your events. Here you're in your calendar make that window a little smaller here we're in your calendar you can go ahead and left or I apologize right click and create an event like make YouTube video and there's today's event now I assume if we yep pull down the calendar today make YouTube video and that's very very nice by default we have the Firefox web browser We'll go ahead and take a look at our file manager here. So, of course, standard throughout many, many Linux distributions, you have all your directories laid out very, very nicely. So, in my case, we have home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, and trash. Other locations, like your Windows network, and uh, your local disk, your hard drive. Here in the recent, this is where all your recent, recently used you know, documents and files and other things will show up. Start, I guess this is your most important. You know, you'll you'll tag it as something that's starred. So uh, I don't think I have anything, any files to use as an example. Ah, here we go. We can actually star a whole directory. So if we right click on the videos directory, just for an example, you can do it to any directory or file for that matter. You can click star, and now if we go to start, we have videos in the starred. And now you can unstar that. And here we have it. So it is very very nice I am a fan of this Linux distribution altogether so far um, very nice file manager um, one thing I don't like which is I mean it's, it's a it's standard through most GNOME Linux distributions is that there's no maximize button by default you just snap it to the top or snap it to the side 
which, I mean, you know, it's it still works great, and you can certainly add your maximize button through some different theming uh, or modifications through maybe just the settings. But uh, yeah, by default, I would prefer to see the maximize button, but that might just be me. So if we right click on the desktop, you have a few options here. You obviously have your new folder where you can create yourself a new folder. And uh, here we have it. I'll move it to a white portion of the screen so we can actually see it. And here's our new folder, which obviously also takes you to your other directories. Um, we'll go ahead and delete that. So other options we have, you know, paste, undo, select all, arrange icons, which I assume that would be if you had a bunch of icons on your desktop, you click arrange icons and it'll just arrange them in a nice row or stack them nicely. Either way, uh, arrange by, yeah, so here we go. It, if you click arrange icons, it'll sort by name. Uh, but here's all your options here. Show desktop and files. So if I do that, I believe, yeah, so now through the directory. I think it might have already been there, but um, you can view your desktop through your files. So any files you have on the desktop, if you're you know going through your directories, you click on desktop and all your files will show up, all your files that are on the desktop. And then, you know, by default, uh, open in terminal, change background, you know, standard little modifications desktop icon settings, display settings, which obviously will take you back to you know, your screen resolution, refresh rate, stuff like that. Change background, which why not? Let's go ahead and do that before we uh, wrap this video up here. Let's change it to something nice. What? I mean, not that this isn't a nice background. I'm a fan of it. Nice work, System76. I'm proud of you guys. I'll have to purchase a laptop from y'all. <laughs> uh, why not? Do We'll do one of those. I like that. Very, very nice. Yep, you get your power settings here. You can change from high performance or balanced or, you know, maximize your battery life, which will obviously, um, it'll, you, you know, you're sacrificing performance for battery life is what I'm trying to say. Yep, and uh, network settings, lock can power off and, uh, I guess that's pretty much it, folks. That is my quick little look at Pop! OS. And I have to say, guys, I recommend it. This is a great Linux distribution. I'm not, I've never particularly been a fan of the GNOME desktop environment. However, I have to say, I'm a fan of this one. I, I guess it's just to say the by default theming. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Pop! OS. So I will leave a link in the description, guys, that uh, so you guys can download Pop! OS and give it a look for yourselves. But uh, once again, I definitely recommend. Thank you all for watching. That concludes today's video. And uh, leave a like this, on this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day, and Merry Christmas.